Samsung is about to flip the smartphone world on its head. Forget the usual Galaxy names you've been known for years because the S26 lineup might look very different. To new models, a brand new chip built on bleeding edge to nanometer tech, and even a surprising Tesla connection. Now here's my question, is this the boldest move Samsung has made in a decade, or could it backfire? Stick with me because the full story is wild and you'll want to hear every detail. Before we get into it, make sure you watch this one all the way through. The strategy behind these phones could reshape Samsung S future and maybe even change the way you pick your next upgrade. So here's what's happening, Samsung, a company that has played it safe with naming for years, is reportedly throwing out the standard and the plus. Instead, get ready for the Galaxy S26 Pro and the Galaxy S to 6 Edge. And yes, Edge, that name hasn't been used since the days when curved screens were the hottest thing around. Remember when the sides of your phone glowed with colors and people would stop you just to ask if they could see the Edge display? It looks like Samsung might be reviving that identity, but not just for nostalgia. It's about making the lineup feel sharper, more premium, and easier to tell apart. Pro Edge Ultra, three clear choices instead of one model that always felt like it was stuck in the middle. But the real story isn't the name, it's what's inside. Reports say the S26 Pro and the S26 Edge could be powered by Samsung S own Exynos processor built on a 2 nanometer process. That's a massive leap forward. 2 nanometers means more power packed into a smaller chip with higher efficiency, better performance, and potentially longer battery life. For years, Exynos has been seen as the weaker sibling, always lagging behind Qualcomm's Snapdragon and Apple's A Series chips. If Samsung can finally deliver a chip that runs cooler, faster, and more efficiently, this could be the comeback Exynos fans have been waiting for. Why is Samsung taking this risk now? One word, costs. In the first half of this year, Samsung's DX division spent nearly $6 billion on chip costs, way up from last year. The main reason is their heavy dependence on Qualcomm and TSMC, which has been raising prices. Every Galaxy S25 and even the new Z Fold 7 run on Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite, that dependency is expensive. And Samsung knows it can keep writing massive checks to another company when it has its own semiconductor factories. And here's where Tesla comes in. Samsung has been working with Tesla to build chips for electric vehicles. The exciting part is that Samsung's to nanometer process has already shown solid yields. If it's good enough to help run a Tesla, Samsung finally has the confidence to put that technology into its smartphones. But Samsung isn't going all in just yet. The Galaxy S26 Ultra, the crown jewel of the lineup, will most likely stick with Qualcomm and Snapdragon 8 Elite 2, that way Samsung keeps stability and top performance for its most loyal users while testing its own chips and the Pro and Edge models. So what does this mean for you? If you're chasing absolute performance, the Ultra will still be your safe choice. But if you're curious to see Samsung bet on itself and prove Exynos can finally deliver, the Pro and Edge might be the most exciting options. Should Samsung eventually go all in on Exynos? Not yet, they need to prove themselves first. But if this chip delivers and the reception is strong, the Galaxy S27 could be the moment Samsung fully takes back control. What do you think? Would you trust a 2 nanometer Exynos in your next phone? Or would you stick with Qualcomm for peace of mind? Share your thoughts below. And if this update got you excited, hit that like button and subscribe for more. The smartphone world is changing fast, and this is just the beginning.